he's so hopeless and has no purpose in where he's going and so I feel like his character has taught me to be really intentional in my dancing as well as just my life as a whole. The role of the atheist is really interesting to me because as Christians we hear that word and it's so scary. But rather than being depicted as a giant or a dragon or a creature, which we've already seen exist in the world of this story, the atheist appears as a person. They approach Christian and hopeful as a pilgrim who started out on the path, who has the pieces of scripture, but just didn't see it through. And the audience will really see that reflected in the movements and the choreography because the atheist mirrors the same hand gestures that the interpreter did earlier in the performance. We saw the interpreter take the pieces of scripture and take the pieces of Christianity and show how they fit together and how that applies to our lives. You'll see the atheist do the exact same sort of thing, but rather than taking the time to understand how it all fits together, just follows those pieces like breadcrumbs in a treasure hunt. And when there's no treasure chest at the end that's obvious to us, just assumes that it doesn't exist and there's no heaven at the end of the path. And so I think it's a really good challenge for us to see those movements mirrored, to understand that people who have bits and pieces of this faith can be as harmful as a dragon and also not to lean on our own understanding of those pieces, but to really seek first the kingdom and God's intention for those messages.